This right here is a wonderful moment for these two young women and for their families. And you can see them getting closer to the plane to greet their loved ones. No small risk to send a former president over there. And there we see in the camera, that is Laura Ling and Yuna Lee back on American soil. How many times did she think about that smiling young face in front of her now, uh, hoping that at some point, someday, very soon, she'd be able to embrace her yet again? You can't help but be moved by the sight of Yuna Lee holding her four-year-old daughter uh, and Laura and Lisa Ling embracing. Uh, indeed. Uh, Anita Vogel, who are those in our screen now? It looks like the, the Ling parents. Yes, I believe we have the Ling parents. We have uh, the husbands of the two journalists right there. The husband of uh, Laura Ling is Ian Clayton. He's uh, the blonde guy with the gray jacket. And uh, the dark-haired gentleman there is the husband of Yuna Lee, and his name is Michael Saldate. And, of course, their adorable four-year-old daughter, Hannah, who probably doesn't understand what's happening right about now, but I'm sure she's uh, very happy to see her mother. And uh, in the distance, right there we have uh, former vice president al gore uh, who is of course the co-founder of current tv the television network that these two journalists work for and now we see vice president al gore embracing the girls uh and uh talking to them and greeting them home wow where's bill clinton well uh we, we assume he's still on the plane and uh, we certainly are hoping to see him and, and hear from him and maybe he'll give us some insight as to uh, exactly when, uh, what went on on the ground in North Korea. Uh, we haven't seen him yet, but uh, we're certainly keeping the camera up and uh, ready for him to step down the stairs. And allowing the families to have their moment and clearly some tears being shed there with the Kleenex out and um, the families inside that hangar. How long cool has it been, Anita, since this four-year-old child and her, and her father saw their mother and wife in, in, in terms of her captivity and the time she was over in, in the North Korean region pr prior to being captured. Right. It, th they were captured about four and a half months ago. Uh, I'm not clear on how long they were in the region before that, but it was, I believe, March 17th when they were captured. So four and a half months at, at the very least, and probably a little bit longer than that uh, if they were in the region shooting a story. So quite a long time for a four-year-old girl. And now you can see the uh, families continuing to embrace and uh, lots of uh, happy tears this morning. It's really extraordinary, Bill. This could have gone, I mean, this was essentially uh, a sentence that could have amounted to a death sentence for these two young women to this, to being home safe and sound on American soil, thanks to the efforts of a former American president and perhaps others uh, diplomatically behind the scenes here. There and he here is. comes Bill Clinton now, walking down the stairs. <laughs> Well, we do know they keep in contact, Bill Clinton and Al Gore. To what extent, we're not exactly sure. Uh, but the two of, men, uh, two of them most likely did not think that they would be embracing inside of a hangar at the Bob Hope Airport in Burbank, fresh up a flight from North Korea.